Hi, this is BC Rich Mark again, back here to help you fix your Legends Ultimate Arcade. The problem with the last update took away our add-on games, where you couldn't access your add-on games. They just wouldn't start. They'd, you'd try to start it, and it would flash it right back to the main menu, and they would not work anymore. Um, Legends at Games contacted me. They told me how I can downgrade the cabinet and fix that problem until they get an update that actually works. You know, we can do this to at least still play our add-on games. Um, this is their letter to me and um, gives a, a link to something you need to download to d downgrade this firmware. Um, you'll be downgrading to the 3.0.11 version. And uh, what you do is you go to that website, and there it is, and you get these files there. I clicked on these two here, and then you can go over here and download the files. Unfortunately, what's weird is somehow they gave me all of those files when I downloaded it. So what you get is you get this little zip file that'll show up once you do it. And then when you open it up, once it's unzipped, it'll be like this. And you open it up, and you will get all of those files. Unfortunately, you only need these top two right here. And this top one right here, you're going to want to erase the 11.0.3. So it'll look like this on your thumb drive. And those are the only two files you want. So you take just these top two. Erase the numbers here so it looks like that. Once that's on your thumb drive, you pop it in your cabinet and you will get an automatic pop-up menu. You won't have to, to do anything. If you, if you did it right, that's what you'll get. You'll get an instant pop-up menu. If it didn't pop up within a few minutes, go back and double-check it. Relook at my letter. That is, I'll show you the instructions again. The instructions are like this. Here's the instructions that they gave me and told me what to do. Make sure you're formatted to a FAT32. You know, they mentioned what your file should be named. Um, somehow mine doesn't say .image. I don't know if I messed something up when I wrote it in there or if it just disappeared because it is an image file. So, I don't know. But... Nonetheless, this is the file that I used to fix my cabinet. That's what I put in there, put it on a USB drive. And like I said, you get an instant pop-up menu. You don't have to go to the settings. You don't have to do nothing. It will pop up right away and ask you if you want to update your cabinet. Say yes and do it. Um, it'll go through its normal thing like a normal update. And then, it'll, of course, it'll give you the countdown saying, you know, do you want to restart now or... Or press A to continue. You can press A, continue. The only problem I had is after that, um, it restarted, but the pop-up menu came up again, almost like as if it wanted to put in the in the update one more time. So I tried to click out of it. The only thing I could actually move was the trackball with the you know like an arrow key, and uh, it wouldn't click anything. And none of the buttons worked or anything like that. So what I did is I just powered it off, pulled the chip out, and naturally restarted the cabinet again, pushing the power button, and everything was working, and everything was back to normal. All the games started working and everything. Okay, now if we go back to my cabinet, we can take a look. And like I said, uh, when I restarted it, the only, the only thing that worked was the trackball, and you saw a pop-up menu asking me if I wanted to re-put in the update. And, of course, you don't want to re-put in the update. And I tried to click out of it. You couldn't click out of it. So all I did was just powered it back off, pulled the chip, powered it back on. Everything came back. And then, of course, now everything is back to working again. So all my... Add-on games are back. So, you know, I thought I'd make this video to hopefully help some people out who might want to, uh, you know, maybe downgrade their cabinet and, and get 
things back working again. So, you know, hopefully that will help some of you get back to playing your normal games. I know a lot of the other YouTubers out there who got this update early have absolutely no problem with it and uh, can still play their games. I don't know if they got a different version than the general public got, but uh, <laughs> none of them are admitting to that there is even a problem. So since I, I know I've talked to a few people who have had this problem, and, and I'm sure some of them will want to do this exact same thing so they can get back to playing the games that they've worked so hard on, you know, trying to make packages and bezels and icons it's it's a lot of hard work so you know a lot of people don't want to start back over again and would rather just who not care that their spinner is not updated or whatever you know and just get back to where they were but uh i think my new rule of thumb is is don't accept a new update until about a good month after it and i've known everybody's gotten a good update <laughs> So, anyways, I hope this has helped. Um, if I can figure out how to put the link in the description to, to get the firmware downgrade, I will do that. But if I can't, rewind the video, pause it, write it down, do what you can there if you want to do it. But I thought I'd make this video and hopefully help anybody else who might be stuck in the same problem and needs to, and would prefer to actually downgrade so they can get back to where they were. Alright, well, thanks for watching and I hope this helps some of you. Thanks.